guys, welcome to our channel. Uh, I'm Carol. And I'm Daniel. And we are here today to share a bit about our story with you guys, to share about our infertility story and mm -hmm. our adoption journey. So welcome. We met in 2005 and I think we started dating on our second date. We started dating on our second date. Yeah. <laughs> we were very serious about each other and we didn't waste much time. Mm -hmm. So after a year of dating, we got mm -hmm. engaged and seven months after that, we got married in January 2007. Mm -hmm. And we just celebrated 10 years of marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We always knew that we wanted to have children because we both like children mm -hmm. always, but um, it wasn't like a very serious discussion to us until the day after we got married. On that day, suddenly somehow it was like a switch had turned on into, inside of me and I felt like I had to be pregnant, I had to mm -hmm. be a mom right away. But we were still very young, I was 21 and he was 22. So we decided to wait. So we waited a year and then we finally started trying to get pregnant. And even before we got married, we, we started having discussions about the topic of adoption because we had that in our hearts. We always had the, the, the willingness to do it. I mean, we had a couple of experiences as well. Um, and we also discussed about, okay, if eventually we would have uh, difficulties conceiving our own uh, biological children, that we would, ins instead of paying or investing on invasive, tre invasive treatments, that we would use that money and the energy into children that already need the family, that already um, exist. exist and mm -hmm. are living somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, but we never really thought that we would indeed have those problems in the end. Um, but it was something that was already there for both of us. Yeah. And we didn't start worrying about mm -hmm. um, not getting pregnant in, until after we had been trying for a, almost a year. I think. Yeah. So um, after a year of trying and not getting pregnant, we, we started to think maybe there's something wrong with us. And the road after that is pretty predictable. We uh, visited fertility um, specialists. Mm -hmm. We even got surgeries done, I for endometriosis and he, he for um, varicocele. And, but even after that, after all those years of trying, we would still, we were still getting our hopes and our hearts were mm -hmm. getting crushed month after month. Pregnancy tests upon pregnancy tests. Mm -hmm. We, I think we made, I, I did hundreds of um, ovulations ovulation tests and everything and nothing was working nothing mm -hmm. was um, my body wasn't working the way it, sh it was supposed to be so after it was after four and a half years of trying mm -hmm. that we decided to um, focus on adoption and stop trying to at least for some time stop trying to get pregnant mm -hmm. and we so we decided to start trying to adopt a baby um, I think everybody knows that an adoption process is hard and, and in most cases very long anywhere in the world, but there are some countries that are um, where it's, it's a little complex. bit harder, it's more yeah. complex and there is more bureaucracy and everything. Mm -hmm for uh, people who want to adopt. And unfortunately for us, we live in such a country. Yeah. Even though it's a beautiful country, as you can see, it's wonderful. <laughs> but uh, for people who are trying to adopt, it's not, it's not the yeah. best place in the world to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, because of that, I mean, our first home study was actually quite difficult. We had some personal problems with the social worker. It was quite tough and challenging. And I think it lasted about one year, mm -hmm. or more than one over, year, until mm -hmm. over one year until we actually got the approval from the government to be on the waiting list to be able to adopt a child, uh, a baby child, born in Switzerland. Uh, and I think that was that was the first, the first, let's say, the beginning of it for us, which was really tough. Yeah, and you've got like <laughs> dozens well, of uh, bugs well. stick to your to your head. <laughs> Yeah, it was 
Yeah, the, so the, that process, the beginning of the process was very hard, and, but after about a year, uh, we finally were included in the waiting list mm -hmm. to adopt a baby uh, in born in Switzerland. Yeah. And um, during, it was during that process also with the social worker when we decided that we were going to stop thinking about getting pregnant forever. Uh, we put it aside, we put the dream aside for mm -hmm. like forever really. And that was something that came from the social worker. Um, it was highly recommended mm -hmm. by her. Um, and it made sense for us made, at that point. Yeah, yeah, it made sense for us at that point. Uh, so we decided that after a, a long period of grieving, of course. Um, but we were very excited also to, to dive uh, completely into mm -hmm. the world of adoption yeah. and so we waited for about two years in this waiting list to mm -hmm. adopt a baby here and we never got any calls we never got any news from them anything mm -hmm. so it was um, after about two years that mm -hmm. our hearts started shifting automatically but slowly to the thought of uh, maybe adopting older children mm -hmm and a group of siblings and it was also in this uh, during this process that we found out that regulations in brazil had changed and we both come from brazil and that meant for us that we could actually now adopt from brazil mm -hmm. which before we couldn't yeah. because of certain regulations and we got so we got really excited about that and we Braved it up, and in, mm -hmm. to, in December 2015, mm -hmm. we officially decided that we wanted to try and adopt two to three children from Brazil of up to eight years old. Even though we knew that the process to get the approval for this adoption would be even harder than mm -hmm. the process uh, to, for the approval for one baby, but we decided to try it anyways. And that's where we're at now. Um, we've had another long year of arduous talks with the same social worker from the first yeah. turn Process, around. Yeah. And um, we even had uh, legal hearings with youth welfare services. Mm -hmm. So it, was, it, was, it wasn't easy, but now we're about a month or two yeah, months maybe away. Months from finally getting our approval yeah. to adopt two children from Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, Which is what we were notified, yeah, the Youth yeah. Welfare Services called us for a meeting again, uh, because in, before we had the social worker, we had, we had also a second opinion from a uh, psychologist. Yeah. Uh, and then now they compare both, they talk to us and talk internally again, and then they called us saying that they would like they plan to uh, give us the approval for two children, mm. uh, two siblings with a um, maximum age of eight years old. Uh, but we still need to wait for the administrative part to be ready because we are moving to a new apartment as well. So we need to be in this new apartment, registered. Someone will need to go there, make an assessment to see if we have the structure for children at that, in that apartment. Uh, but it is a huge, huge, huge miracle. Yeah, yeah it's it, is, it is amazing. Step. Yeah. And we're slowly getting excited again. After mm -hmm. five years of trying, we've been now five years in this process, um, it's hard sometimes to get excited and to, uh, to keep excited yeah. and hopeful, but we are getting there again. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about what's coming up in the next few months. Mm -hmm. And we invite you to come along with us and to share this journey with us. It's mm -hmm. been a long journey, but it's been a it's been an adventure and mm -hmm. it's it's taught us many many things yeah and we're grateful for this journey and we're very happy to share it with you guys uh, to share your experience so if you're not um, part of this family yet uh, <laughs> you can hit the button subscribe and subscribe to our channel and, and join us and join us yeah, yeah. be a part of this yeah. with us thank you so much for coming along thanks for watching cool. And, and we will also show you a little bit of this. Yes. Uh, meanwhile. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. See you.